Hello everybody, I'm Vincent, organic dairy goat farmer in Belgium. We may have met before as I was an intern at ORC three years ago and I came back at the producers conference since then. Joe asked me to share with you about how we feed trees to goats or dairy goats. Unfortunately, I couldn't join you today, so I recorded this presentation. Just a little bit about our farm. We are organic since 1997 and we are mil milking goats since 19, uh, 2002. Sorry. Today I milk 80 goats, we produce all their feed on our 20 hectares and we process all their milk into different cheeses, both soft and hard cheeses. The goats graze and their ration consists in hay, haylage and home ground grain, grain and legumes mixture. Besides this, they are also fed trees and in three different ways browsing, branches and three hay. First, browsing. So we planted for the hedges on pasture margins with with uh, tree species that are good for them as worm killers and sources of minerals. Willow, blackthorn, hawthorn, lime, hornbeam, wild cherry, elm. When they go grazing, they're allowed to browse, but the tree stems are protected by electric fencing. Otherwise, the goats will just eat everything. Second, when it's raining, the goats do not graze, so they are kept in the barn. We bring wool branches in the stable. It's a nice activity for all the children coming on the farm. The goats eat the leaves, the butts and the bark. Finally, we tried making tree hay last year. When I watched that green video, I wanted to try it at home. Actually, goats need more minerals and worm suppression in late autumn and after giving birth in February. At these moments, fresh branches are not available, so making tree hay seemed to me to be a good idea. Last July, we pruned hedges and we collected a lot of branches on a big trailer. We pulled a large Polytex cover on them. It's a kind of geotextile they use in construction works, you know. Um, it protects from the rain, but it let the matter breathe underneath. The branches dried off for a few months, and then we gave them to the goats on their outdoor space just next to the stable. They enjoyed it very much, although they did not eat the bark anymore. A tip for improvement would be to save room for it indoors to get a better, a greener result. Here it is. Thanks for your attention. I would be happy to get your feedback at the next producer's conference or just contact me by email. Have a good day and see you soon. Bye.